Hi everybody, it's me Hannibal Marie, and this video is to those of you who don't know me at all. Who pretty much want to know who I am. And so this video is for you. Please excuse the crumpled stuff in the background, because the sounds are just of me moving the feet. Because my feet were in an odd position that kind of hurt it. But okay, back to the point of the video. I've been noticing I've been getting a lot of new people, a lot of new fans, if you will, a lot of new people. I don't like to say fans because it makes me sound like I'm a stuck-up person, and I'm not. I don't care. But I just want you guys to know a little bit about me. I am Hannibal Marie, known as Hannah Marie Carrier on of Facebook, because I had to change my name. I'm not allowed to have Hannibal because it's not my real name, but... But I like to be known as Hannibal. So, to those of you who are, like, getting mad at some of my well-known friends for calling me Hannibal, getting on their cases about, her name's not Hannibal, her name's Hannah. No. No, it's not Hannah. It's my birth name, but I like Hannibal Marie, because it's a good name. I think it's a very nice, solid name. I don't know why, but I just do. Um... And, as you can tell from the looks of this video and everything else that I've posted so far, I'm a very weird person. Um, I try not to be, but it just slips right out. Um, moving the feet again, sorry. But, um, and I'm a very weird person. I think I already just said that. I can repeat myself on occasion. I like to repeat and repeat and repeat only because I don't think I've said enough of it or I don't think you listened and, you know. Um, I might have a split personality disorder only because there are occasions, as you've probably seen some of my videos to come and probably already seen beforehand, um, I can be in a very kind of quiet mood or almost a very sad mood if you will and then I can go into a very weird wacky type of mood and it could be in a split of a second too it's kind of weird but I think I do suffer from a split personality if you will <clears throat> maybe even something else I just don't know any medical terminology for it because I'm not a doctor but yeah um I've learned to cope with most of my insecurity. I, um, actually prefer when people call me negative stuff. I actually think it irks me more when people call me positive stuff. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just makes me feel like if you are on the same page as me, that I'm not doing something right. But if you hate me, that I'm doing something right. I don't know why. I've always been that way, even when I was younger. <clears throat> Uh, a little bit more about me, because you guys keep asking for more of these type of videos. Um, so this is kind of like hitting two birds with one stone. Very, very animal friendly type of term there. But um, it's a very animal friendly sort of speech, but two birds, one stone. Um, ooh, sorry, my arm just did a weird twitch. But um... So this video is going to be for those who've been wanting more me videos, as well as people who don't know me, so you can have fun. But, um, I wear a lot of makeup that I know, that I get asked all the time, do you wear this on, do you wear this all the time? I do. Actually, I do. I wear this on the times that I do feel I should wear it. And do I wear this outside of the house? I do. Um, there are times where you kind of want to experiment with different styles. I can go from this messy paint job to a remotely attractive sort of look. So it just depends on the mood. Um, another lovely question that gets asked frequently is what type of music I like. I like music. Period. If it moves me, I don't really care what type of music it is. If I like it, I'll like it. I'll like it until the cows come home. 
I like music. I like the idea behind the music. I like how music moves people, how it changes people, it tames your inner beast. I like music. Um, some more stuff about me before I call this five minute video quits. Um, I like Disney. I like cartoons. I like Dr. Seuss. I like, um, Tim Burton. More of his older Tim Burton stuff, though. Not so much of his newer stuff. Um, I like clowns, as you can possibly tell. Uh, I like makeup. I like wigs. But this is my natural hair, just so you know. No wig hair, honey. This is all natural. <laughs> Look, at it makes a difference, right? Um, uh, this is orange. My hair is orange. It looks red. It looks red on camera. It don't make sense. Anyways, it looks orange. Um, <clears throat> some more interesting and very embarrassing stuff is... I've only ever dated maybe three people in my whole life span. And by dating, I mean physical people. Physical. Not internet. Physical. Physical men, I've dated three. Two of the three only lasted a couple of weeks. One of the three lasted a, mm, a year and a half. But... Ugh, that year and a half was hell. But, um... So yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Uh... Um, so, I mean, I don't know what Okay, I'm done. Um, I tend to do that type of weird shit too, just so you guys know. I do that as a filler for when I mess up on most of my shit, as I do. I really don't like to do videos like this. I really don't. I like to have a actual script to go off of because it helps me think. Whereas when I do random jib-jab like this, it kind of gets all over the place and I have to cut most of the stuff out. I, I leave most of it in, but I like to cut some of the not so great stuff out but um hello so yeah there's a little bit of that just um I do makeup as you guys can tell I do some character illusions on occasion I do some free thinking type of looks and by that I mean what I feel I put on my face I guess um a very abnormal person. And I don't say that just to be cool. I'm a very abnormal person. And that I can honestly say with a huge grin. Because I like being weird. I like my different style, if you will. Um, I don't really fit into any category, mind you. I made up my own category and I just call it clown. Because that's what I feel I'm more like than anything else. I do have a soft spot for the goth subculture, though. And I'm starting to have more of... Um, an honor, if you will, an honor to embrace it now because of some differences that I believe they've kind of overcame since the last time I did hold the title of goth. Long discussion I will hold for a different time. Um, so yeah, I, I am just all over the place. Sorry for this really weird video about nothing, but you guys seem to like these things, I guess. Um, so yeah, I like musicals, I like cabaret and burlesque, and I will be getting into those sometime in my life, as I always keep saying, but you'll hear a lot of it. Um, so yeah, I will be, hopefully, doing a lot of um, risque stuff, sooner or later, with the burlesque scene, once I find an outlet in, I will get into that type of stuff, because I've always fancied that type of stuff. No, that does not make me a scandalous bitch. I'm not. Actually, I'm the most loyalist person you'll ever find. I actually pity people who are more or less a whore. I don't like... Um... I don't like hoary people, I don't. I mean, if it's your thing, if you are a whore, if you will, then that's your thing, that's what you do. It's something that you do, but personally, I don't. I don't do that type of stuff. 
<clears throat> I never really saw any use of it because I don't. It's gonna make me sound really rude, but I don't really care for people in that sexual desired way. There are maybe a few, and by few I probably mean like two people that I actually think in that way about, but most of which aren't even real. <laughs> or at least they're not of my, of my uh, reach. I don't know. But um, Ooh, 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 the door just cracked on me. So yeah, I don't really think about people in that sort of way, if you will. I don't really care for sex, if you will. Though I am very interested in the, um, um, the look of it, the mention of it, the, um, atmosphere, if you will, that sort of sleazy feeling, that sort of, like, red light district sort of area type stuff, prostitution, all that. I'm very, um, curious, if you will, about that type of stuff. That's not, I won't ever do that stuff, of course, but it is entertainment in a way to me. I, I do think it's interesting. Um, and I don't condone in it, of course, but I don't, I don't really hate people who do. I don't really care. I really don't care. It's just, for me, it's not my cup of tea. Um, so yeah, I do a lot of things like that. As you can tell, I'm a very interesting individual, huh? Um, I do a lot of research into, like, almost anything, really. Superstitions, um, old myths, and, um things of that nature. A lot of, like, UFO sightings and abductions and a lot of things like that, and uh, surprise, surprise, I do believe in aliens, and it scares me. And, um, I believe in the afterlife, and paranormal stuff, and all those lovely things. I think tarot is very interesting. Palm reading is very interesting. I like that whole fortune teller aspect. That Though I know a lot of palm readers and fortune tellers are a good carnival act. Um, I do feel there are maybe, and I'm pretty sure there are some real people out there who know what they're doing and who know what they're saying. I like magic, though I don't really think it's real. It's, it's a fun gag, if you will, but I don't, I think it is real, but no one really has come out to prove such a thing, but what we have seen so far in Hollywood and what we've seen from these certain magicians out there like Chris Angel and all those other people out there, they're all a nice little carnival act as well. And I know magic in some aspects is real. I just don't think that we have yet to see it. Um, so yeah, I do believe in stones and um, Mother Earth and all those lovely stuff. I do feel that that stuff holds a lot of power, like crystals and what have you. Um, I'm a very huge, huge religious buff, though I don't, um, stick to one religion, if you will. I don't sit down and I don't pound a Bible in people's faces or anything like that. I'm just very curious of religion, religion as a whole, all religions. I think they're fascinating. I love the artwork of some of the religion stuff. I like the idols that some of the Catholic people have. I am in love with the Hindu stuff. I'm in love with the Buddhists. I'm in love with every single religion because everything is just beautiful and if you map it all down to one thing on this planet that they all agree on, if you actually were to dissect every single religion, Love is the main thing in it, and I do believe that love is, in its own right, a god. So yes, I'm a very interesting individual who don't look like I know much, but I do know some stuff. At least my own beliefs, if you will. I have my own mind, and my own noggin that I use on occasion. But, um, yeah, 
some fun, interesting factoids about me. Not that much about me, but I wish I was a cartoon. And sometimes I like to pretend I am. I also... Well, if I can't be a cartoon, if honestly I couldn't be a cartoon, but I could be whatever else I ever wanted for some strange reason, then I would love to be a wood elf off of the um, Skyrim and Oblivion and Morrowind games, the Elder Scrolls. I would love to be a wood elf because I already have the height down packed. I am as short as shit. I am short, short, short. Um, another interesting thing that I get a lot of people telling me all the time is I have an interesting set of eyes. I mean, I don't understand where they're coming off with this shit, but I have interesting big eyes and I have a weird facial shape because it's weird and I don't know. Okay, I'm done. Okay, that's enough. No more looking at me. Go away.